Every time I get on this camera, I feel not good enough. I want to be entertaining or informative. I want to provide something really valuable to you so that it's worth your time, so that you learn from it or that you feel better about yourself because of it, or just providing some kind of positive message for the world and for today. While I do sometimes feel okay about myself, it's not always, and it's not always when I sit down here to record a video. So how can I connect in a good way when I'm not necessarily feeling good all the time? Yeah, a lot of my videos end up being rambling or ranting. There's a lot of angry ranting that happens. And um, there's a lot of me being down on myself. Whenever I think about or talk about anything to do with myself, negative self-talk, negative self-worth, low confidence, low self-esteem, immediately what pops into my head is, oh, well, there's do something about it. There's a program for that. There's a book for that. There's self-help for that. Go watch some YouTube video that'll tell you just how to be good, how to be a good person, how to be better, how to be wonderful. And I really would like to just let that go, that whole mindset of that I'm not good enough. Like, I am fine. I'm fine. Right now, I'm fine. It's not a big deal. Like, this is not the end of the world here, right? <laughs> We're still here. I'm wearing a brown shirt, and I'm just sitting in a room, and I'm talking, and it's it's not that big of a deal. The stakes, are the stakes so high? Because it feels like they are. <laughs> I always feel that way. Everything is a high stake situation. And in my brain, it says, oh, well, I'm always processing these scientific or psychological or neuroscience explanations for why I feel the way I do and why it's wrong and why I should fix it. I think the whole concept of mental health is askew. I think it is a little misunderstood. Like, the whole concept of health, I think, is really misunderstood. And it's such a vast, interconnected, um, ever-changing system that we're in. When we look at our individual selves and say, well, am I healthy or not? I think that misses the mark. I think the only way to really look at it is whether or not the whole system is healthy, whether or not the health of one node or one person in that network is in and of itself the health of the whole system and vice versa. I don't think you can have one without the other. And I also don't necessarily believe in the model of symptoms and symptom reduction, as if that has ever actually increased anyone's health, which I don't believe that that's what it's for. I think it's to help us be functional and productive members of society because we need to keep society running. Because if it stops running, well then, well, what will happen? It's not that we would all become unhealthy all of a sudden. It's that there would be a catastrophe of sorts. Um, sickness and health, that's something that takes a long, it, it really evolves over time when we find ourselves in difficult situations for long periods of time. Sickness develops. Um, were this society or this economy to suddenly collapse, it wouldn't be unhealthy. It would be scary and it would be dangerous and it would be undesirable because what's the point of worrying about health or sickness when you're really dealing with life and death? You know, the, 
to be healthy means, well, you have to be alive to be healthy. That's a prerequisite for that. So we're really fixated on this life and death thing. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense, but... It's all that we can do most of the time to just scrape by and survive and just whack a mole and put a Band-Aid on each symptom as it comes up and hope that that's going to get us through the day, through the week, through the month, so on and so forth. And if you're in that, then that's all you can see. And you kind of have tunnel vision. I've had tunnel vision my whole life. And it's very hard to look at the bigger picture. So, but I try to speak about that if I can, because if I could understand what actually it means to be healthy uh, for myself, then suddenly everything is a function of health and everything is working as it should. And the more that we can um, encourage healthy behavior, the more the environment will support health and the more that we can grow more and more healthy human beings. That's kind of, the goal is not to, I mean, the goal is not to get strong and hurt people. The goal is to become resilient and vibrant. Can you see the difference there? Um, there's a completely different direction to what it is that I'm trying to accomplish here, which is a inward and downward direction into the self that allows us to become rooted in earth and rooted in humanness and all that came before us, including traditions, biological reality, chemistry, physics, literature, art, and so on and so forth. Um, and to, you know, let ourselves be supported by all of that which has come before us and not necessarily um, at the expense of all that, if that makes any sense. I'm not sure if those words make sense to me, but <sighs> anyway. So, you know, I sit here and I try to do I try to talk and I try to make these videos and I always just want to look over there, look, looking out the window or looking elsewhere. Um, it's always just somewhere else. You know, I, I think it's cool that owls can kind of turn their heads almost all the way around. It's kind of how I feel like I would like to be able to do that. Um, So healthy, 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 you know. So yeah, I think that there are lots of good people working on lots of different solutions for these health issues in all kinds of different fields and disciplines. And I don't want to pretend like I know anything, you know, medicine and ecology and so on and so forth. Like, I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm sure that those people maybe know a little bit more about those things than I do. And, um, you know, science and energy and so on and so forth. And there's all kinds of different ways to look at this experiment, project, exploration. I know that though, for people in my age bracket, I don't know, 20 to 40, it's not, uh, so many of us have faced this lack of meaning and purpose in our lives. And we might remember a time a long time ago when it felt like it meant something or there was a connection there. And that connection oftentimes was fleeting, but real. It felt real. It felt so important that We've gone fairly astray, I think, maybe. Um, just looking in different directions, you know. We always explore different paths and deviate from where we are and find our way back. And 
it's just, I don't know, man. Am I complaining? I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. Reminiscing or seeking or searching or wondering or hoping. I, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know. I'm stuttering. I noticed that. So that's belies a lack of confidence in what I'm saying. Uh, I don't believe there are any accidents. I don't believe there are any mistakes. I say the word again, I. <laughs> Tell me more about yourself. Tell me more. What else do you think or what else do you think? I think all people deserve to be happy. Well, isn't that a wonderful, what a stupid idea that is. You know, that's the real responses. What a stupid idea, you stupid moron, you frickin' idiot, you dumb dumb. All people to be happy, as if, you know, that's popular these days is IFS, internal family systems. It's a style of therapy. I haven't done it. I've heard about it. I've read about it once. And it deals with these different aspects of ourselves and the critic, you know, that would be the critic. We all have the critic. I think IFS is great. I don't love it. I think it's a little limited, but it's also great. Um, the critic though, that's a good concept, right? Oh, happiness. No, we don't want that. No one's going to be happy. Everyone will be miserable forever because I'm miserable and so are these other people too. So why should anyone be happy if we aren't happy? You know what I mean? It's not fair. Nothing is fair in life. They have more than I do. That's not fair. They have what I want. You know, it's like acceptance. Okay. They have what you want. So what are you going to do about it? Fight them, kill them, take it. You could do that. Or, or you could just create more. Or we could create systems where everyone has what they want. Everyone already has what they want. What you have is what you want. Change the mindset on that. What you have is what you want. What you have is what you want. It's kind of like pro reprogramming the brain in a certain sense. Um, that's hard to get to, to just short circuit these other programs and start new ones. That's hard to do. Um, hardware is a limitation as well. Yes, seemingly. So we can't just jump the gun, as they were to say in the olden days. Can't just jump the gun. Have to take your time. Have to wait till it's the right time to act. And it could be days, months, years. We don't like to hear that. I don't like to hear that. Oh, it's going to take years. But when you're young, most people are pretty dumb when they're young. They're not going to get it. I wasn't getting it. Uh, I just thought that it was going to happen sooner, faster, now, because I knew what needed to be. I knew. I already know something, so why can't it become real? Why can't it become real? It's already in my mind, so why does it take so much time? Hmm. Yeah. Patience is what they say, grasshopper, patience. So, I don't know. <sighs> so I wait, I wait. My mouth made a noise, did you hear that? You could do that too if you want to, it's easy. Sorry, if you're looking for high octane entertainment value, I don't know if I've got that in me. Not today. Today, today, today is only the only day that we have. Today, today, today. Exciting, exhilarating today, right? Maybe. Maybe not, though. Maybe something else 
Maybe it sucks. Maybe today is awful. Maybe it's frustrating. Maybe it's irritating. Maybe it's whatever. Maybe it's just whatever. I don't freaking know what it is. Maybe it's whatever, like, and that's fine. Or maybe it's whatever and I'm frowning about it too. I don't know. Maybe it's, uh, <laughs> maybe it's, uh, Uh, don't think about the good old days. That's not the idea. Things used to, music was better or, or movies were better or thing, eh, TV shows were better. That's probably not true, but music and movies, perhaps, maybe. I wouldn't think about that, though. Literature. I don't know about that. Things were better. Things were worse. I just don't think about that. Comparing, comparing, comparing. If you want to be happy, okay, maybe don't do that. If you want to be upset, maybe do it. Maybe compare. Keep doing it. See, see how long it works out for you. You can keep doing it forever. Compare, compare, compare. This one and that one, better and worse. I like it, I don't like it. Liking it and not liking it is not a problem, right? It's like pretty obvious. I like it, I don't like it. And I like it and I don't like it. Oh, well, that's weird. Hmm. I like it and I don't like it. And that's just binary, and there's more complexity to that as well. I like it and I don't like it, and then 500 other feelings are happening too. There's a lot of different emotions. I know there's supposedly only 5 or 10 or 7 or 12 basic ones. There's a lot of nuance in there, in the emotional realm. Lots of them. Look up the emotion wheel if you've never seen that, and probably there's a hundred of them on there. This, this experience, there's a lot, and there's so many of them that you probably don't even feel most of the time. There's a lot of richness and diversity to this human experience that we don't get to experience most of the time. We get stuck in these ruts, mental ruts, and it's like, oof, you gotta, you gotta grieve that shit. That's, that's sad. It's a bummer. When you get stuck in a rut for months or years and you're not living your life, that's so sad. It's the worst. It's one of, I think it's the worst uh, of all, you know, and I'm comparing and I'm, I'm judging it because it sucks. Missed opportunity. Um, a life unlived. Grieve that. It is so sad. It is so sad when that happens. It happens to more people than you think. I mean, I don't know the statistics on that. I just made that up. But I bet it happens to a lot of people. How could it not? How could it not? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. I just made that up. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe people are living their best lives. Maybe everyone's living their best lives. Who freaking knows, man? Who freaking knows? What's this? So, oh, that's cool. Look at this. It's so weird. It seems like it's moving faster than I think it's moving. Oh, I, that's, that, that makes me sick. All right, anyways, enough of this. You guys, what, what am I doing? We'll try again next. I mean, this is fine, but we'll try again. We'll keep doing it. We'll, we'll, we'll be back. See you again next time. Oh, wow. And my mouse is not connected to Bluetooth. So click, click, nothing, nothing.